Welcome back, family, friends, and fans. It is Karma's Pieces. I know, I just upped and changed my name. I didn't say a word to you guys. I took a month off. I didn't say Jack, and I just changed the name. No worries. In this video, I will explain why the name changed. I also plan on updating the Perosmia community. Uh, my community is growing and I plan to nurture you guys. And I hope to grow this community so that we can start helping each other through the channel. So there's a lot of changes coming up at Karma's Pieces. I'll also explain why it took a month off. So I kind of dropped off the face of the earth again. But here I am resurfaced and I am ready to rock and roll. So, if this interests you, please continue watching. Okay guys, so I am back from a month off and the reason I took a month off, I have to be honest, I have to be 1000% brutally, brutally honest with you guys, especially since I feel that since I've started this channel, I've been opening up a lot more to this community. I, You give me so much back and since you have given me so much, I plan on continuing to share and um, open up with you guys. So the reason why I decided to take a month off, I actually didn't know that it was going to be a month. I really did plan on posting sooner. I have been a bit down in the dumps, uh, for lack of a better word right now. It just kind of sprung on me. It was very sudden and I, was trying to do a lot of different things and ended up really not doing much of anything or at least not completing the things that I was trying to do because I've just been down. And I understand, and so does my family, that the main reason why I kind of have these moments where I'm up high and I'm, you know, and then I just kind of crash is because I am struggling with a life-altering disorder, unfortunately life-altering to me. You know, this type of disorder, parosmia, is not something that is affecting everyone in the same way. For those of us who it has changed our lives drastically, it's not easy because the problem is you become somewhat of a recluse. For me, I am a recluse right now. I stay home most of the time. Um, it works fine because I do most of my work from home unless I'm doing real estate. But the thing is, I, I wanna see my friends. I want to see my sisters. I wanna hang out with people, take my daughters out and you know go to dinner, which is things that we used to do, just regular things that I guess I've taken for granted in the past. And now I just, I really don't think I'll be taking those things for granted anymore. But it hasn't been easy and so this past month I was down I was depressed and did not know um, how to communicate my artistry how to communicate my my feelings I just kind of wanted to be more internal and I haven't been as communicative with most people um, even family and close close friends and I think that the wonderful thing about having people who love you and support you and know who you are is that they don't judge you for the the times when you're not able to give 100% and I'm really lucky for that I have a really supportive group of family and friends and that's really important but 
not being able to sit down and just have dinner with your kids or cook your children a meal or take them out to eat or celebrate you know um, we have so many graduations this year my niece just graduated on Sunday my nephew's graduating this Thursday and then my daughter's graduating in June you know what does everybody do after graduation 99.9% .9 of the time people go out to eat and you you just you take these things for granted when you don't have the kind of problem that I have so it's frustrating uh, there are days where I can pick myself up and I can say it's okay don't worry about it this too shall pass you are gonna make it you're gonna do well and this is gonna be over in no time and then there are times where it's like I'm just over it and I'm 14 months in so 14 months of fighting the good fight and obviously I'm going to fight <laughs> until I get better and the thing is it's just taking really long and there's no there's no timetable that anybody can really give me I mean right now they're saying that it's been taking people anywhere from a year to two years to get better um, <laughs> for those of us who are like we just passed the year mark after them telling us that it was gonna take a year <sighs> we just have to tell ourselves that no one knows when each individual person is going to get better that's it um i don't feel like this is a an easy fix a quick fix thing another thing i've been noticing on tiktok and on youtube there have been a lot of people um giving their opinions about their doctor's opinions and their doctor's theories on why parosmia actually happened and some people are challenging the idea that it might not be an olfactory neuron damage however i i understand that a lot of people are weighing in i mean at this point most of us parosmia sufferers feel like we are much more we're much more well versed than the average doctor because most doctors that are not dealing with parosmia don't even know the first thing about it some of them i had to tell them what it is what it was so with that being said you know when I, I'm part of a support group. I'm gonna put all the links in the description to anything that I mentioned. So I'm part of a support group. If you're a sufferer or you know someone who is, you're a family member of someone who is, this support group is not just for sufferers, it's also for the family members of, and just seeing how we can support each other and give each other tips and advice. So I'm definitely putting that in the link. I'm sorry, I'm putting that link in the description. In my support group, we all talk about different things. And one of the first things we, all kind of mentioned was that when we first told our internal medicine doctors our regular general practice doctors they were like parosmia what parosmia who parosmia where parosmia um th and these are real ex th this is the real deal of how people reacted uh parosmia parosmia remind me again what parosmia is no yes because i know that parosmia is but i always get it confused with what is parosmia and then i just got doctors that really were just genuine and were like i have to be honest with you i've never dealt with parosmia i don't know the first thing about it can you please explain it to me so that i can better assist you and you know we'll figure it out um for example my nutritionist amazing amazing nutritionist she basically told me that she didn't know what parosmia was um, our first session, she was really just asking me a lot of questions, trying to see solutions and figure out how she can best help. And as we continue to talk to each other, um, I've been seeing her once a month since August. I missed this last month because I was down in the dumps, but I've been seeing her every month. And she was like, she just told me now, I just saw her beginning of May and she was like, you know, I just, I've been asking so many doctors questions, asking you, and she was like, you're my first patient with this, and I've just learned so much, and I'm so grateful, and I was like, well, I'm so grateful that you're taking the time to help, you know, and to try to understand it. 
So with that being said, not a lot of doctors know about this. And just because someone is a doctor doesn't mean that they necessarily um, have all the pieces of the puzzle. The reason why I am trusting, a lot more trusting of the advice and the opinions and theories of my ENT doctor is because he is actually a specialist with prosmia and has been doing extensive research. He's really doing so many different things and I'm actually interviewing him uh, for something, but I just think that it is really, really important that we are careful about what we as parosmia sufferers or family members of parosmia sufferers, it's, it's very, it's, we have to be careful with what we're telling the, nat the, the general audience. I do give you guys my opinions. I always disclose that I am not a medical uh, practitioner. I don't know the intricacies of medicine and what can cure us. And I can't give you anything straight on because no one can give me anything straight on as of today. So with that being said, be careful that you're not spewing out theories and sure maybe we're all spewing out theories but that you're not spewing out theories from doctors who are not well versed in the matter to begin with um doctors who are giving hypotheticals based on just adding one and one and thinking that one and one is necessarily two when there might be another one missing there to the puzzle that they're not aware of because they're not part of that conversation so i doctors make mistakes just like parents and patients make mistakes we are all human beings all I'm saying is that if you are going to accept a theory from a reputable source this source should be someone who is doing extensive research not just someone who is treating a patient or one or two patients with parosmia um, I think that's really important and on that note I also have to say that I am going to continue reporting uh, spam to anyone who is trying to advertise a specific doctor and his cure for parosmia um, until I don't have scientific evidence explaining to me how anything is curing people from parosmia 100% I cannot and will not condone it on my channel and I do not want to misinform the people who are hanging on my word and hanging on each other's advice and opinions and updates because we're actually suffering with something and the reason why we're suffering with it is because majority of us have not found a quick fix yes there have been a couple of treatments I've heard of the alpha lipoic acid the stellate ganglion blocks injection i have a youtube comment from a mom who her daughter uh had just gotten the treatment we are waiting for an update on her and i hope that her daughter is well her name is kane family kane and she says that the stellate ganglion block injection has a 85% success rate. Um, I heard about a lot of children that have been taking this and it has been working. And some people are using this as a just cause to um, cancel the olfactory, olfactory damage theory and say that if the, stelli, if the stellate ganglion block injection can help cure the problem then the chances of um, this being an olfactory neuron damage is not plausible the chances are low but I still have a lot more information that I'm going to be receiving from my doctor who is actually researching all of these things so as soon as I hear back from him I will give you guys an explanation as to what he believes and we can for now take it for what he's saying nothing can be set in stone even from him because he's still figuring all of these things out so we're still waiting from the Kane family to see how her daughter is doing I know that someone in my support group 
posted her son on the stellian uh the stellate ganglion block injection and he had improvement within like right after his surgery he had um experienced drastic improvement what i would love to know is how long does this improvement last so there's still so many questions that i have because i wonder if it works um for a moment and then it, re it reverts or does it continue to work and since all of these treatments are so brand new i still can't say anything about it on this channel all i can say is please continue to update us and let us know how things are going some people have been improving through the alpha lipoic acid and um i had a young man on my channel his name is uh m ramirez and he asked if I had tried the alpha lipoic acid and um, I have not originally I believe that I was advised against it however I did recently just ask my ENT doctor about it to see if he had more information for me and if it was something and if it was a treatment that he thought that I should take I'm not as desperate as I am I'm not desperate to just try a whole bunch of things and see what works I um, I don't know what can revert the damage and I don't know what can uh, create a more create further damage and so uh, it's a very delicate thing and I think everybody has a right to um, try things and also not to try things so I really am waiting for him to let me know I am I did try the X hands um, nasal puffer thing and <laughs> i tried that and i preferred just not to and i, I tried it for some months and in the, and i didn't really see results so i i thought that it would just be much better for me to um continue trying to heal organically until something else gets recommended for me i recently got a 17 year old i believe her name is angelina and Angelina is telling me she's 17 years old. Um, she has autism and celiac disease. And um, she's been just really having a hard time. And she's like, all I can say is we will fight this parosmia and we will have our taste and smell back. Parosmia has just made everything 10 times worse. She's had it for seven months. Some things taste and smell rotten and metallic. So yeah, and there's a lot of stories like this on my channel. I just have so many people talking about their experiences and I'm really grateful because one of the things that made me feel better uh, when I first discovered that I had parosmia, I, I discovered that I had it before any doctor was able to tell me and it was just, I simply just put in Google, um, rancid smells after COVID. That's all I, I didn't put anything else. And I found this whole Perosmia community and questions people were asking and articles in the news and support groups. And there was just this whole world that I didn't know anything about until I typed it in. Yeah, Renee Borchard, she said she's 20 months into this journey. She said she refuses, just like I do, to push through the taste and smell because she gets sick um, with everything. Uh, she calls it a COVID taste. She can't do dill pickles, but she can do chickpeas. Now, I want to personally thank Renee Borchard because she suggested vinegar chips, salt and vinegar chips. And for those of you who have parosmia and have been struggling to find good chips, I know that you, you've you experienced biting into a chip and going Bleh! because you thought in the beginning, well, if I could have cheese and I could have salt, I should be able to have a chip. I mean, chips are pretty much bland. But what we failed to do was look into the ingredients. And majority of cheese chips and just regular chips, most chips for some reason, have garlic and onions in them. And you don't realize it until you have this issue. Thank you, Miss Renee Borchard, for suggesting the salt and vinegar chips because I have been enjoying those. I tried the brand Dirty, yeah, 
the, the name of the brand is Dirty. And I think I'm gonna put a clip here because I decided to try the chips another day. And I said, I'm not posting right now on YouTube, but I need to save this because I want to let Renee Burchard know which chip will, um, which chips were good for me. Without further ado, I'm going to try this on camera for the first time with you guys to see what happens. This is a big piece. But because of how I perceive it, I understand that there's a possibility I can eat this based on the smell. I can eat it. <laughs> Tip number two, when you're eating something, um, whether it's for the first time or you're trying something out, again, you want to try to take at least two bites or even three. With this disorder, the first bite seems okay or it could seem bad the second bite can either be better or be worse so you and then the third bite kind of just like tells you what's going on like what the baseline is and this is what the flavor is going to be for a while so i try to push myself if it's not rancid if it's not bad i try to push myself for three bites i usually do this for chips cookies and cereal um bread i'm kind of like grossed out by right now but there are some breads that i can have i'm just for whatever reason bread is grossing me out and even the ones that i can tolerate um i think right now the best bread that i could eat is the cinnamon raisin bagels and um not toasted um, it has a sweetness to it. It's got a little bit of flavor. Cinnamon finally fixed itself for me. So for the most part, like just a little light flavoring of cinnamon mixed with sugar, I can handle that. Um, so actually, I'm probably gonna add some ground pepper to this. This is the best one so far. The vinegar is not very overpowering. I can barely taste the bad breath taste. I think with a little bit of um, ground pepper, this might be my new favorite. Thank you for suggesting this. It's a saving grace because most of the foods that I eat on a regular day basis are soft. It's gachi e pepe, my shake, um, sweet potatoes, and I usually don't um, fry my sweet potatoes. I usually boil it. So everything is soft. You guys know about my favorite meal of the day, which is my Revive Superfood Smoothies. Um, if you guys are interested in trying it out, your first order with my code, you could get 50% off. So um, definitely give it a try if you want to. There are some smells that have gotten a little lighter. Um, certain foods that my daughters have been doing uh, they cook uh, chicken nuggets sometimes they'll do it in the microwave sometimes they'll do it on the stove um, I noticed that when they do it in the microwave it's a lot less aggressive for me than when they do it on the stove um, it, those those have gotten lighter for me um, everything seems to be lighter still the same disgusting smell but just not as potent and i think that because i had porosmia so so severely especially last year i when i say lighter it's still pretty significant so i'm working through it i'm powering through do you see why this community is so important the porosmia sufferers the families everyone is has just been so supportive and it kind of gets me a little bit emotional because we are literally trying to figure this all out together. It is so weird. It is so um, 
far-fetched. It is something beyond anything that we've ever experienced. But we're trying beyond like distance. Like it doesn't matter how far people are. We are communicating. Look, I have people communicating with me and I have my <laughs> my Mac here. Um, that's where you see me looking down. I have people communicating with me here on YouTube. I have people communicating through Facebook, through the support group. There are people that are doing interviews online, putting up blogs, like people putting TikToks up, YouTube videos up. And the more that we do this and inform each other and support each other, the better. What we don't want to do is to put pressure on people for not doing the things that we want them to do. Oh, I tried this and it worked. You should do it. That's something that the reason why we shouldn't do that is because a lot of times what people don't understand the severity of parosmia has been extremely different for a lot of different people there are people on my facebook support group that will say i tried the alpha lipoic acid and it was so helpful for me it didn't get me to 100 percent, but it got me to at least 50 which i'll take and then there's other people who are like I'm sorry, I am so severe. I tried the alpha lipoic acid for longer than you and it didn't work for me. And it's just making me frustrated because it's not working. I'm still not able to eat 90% of the things in my kitchen. So not everyone can push through the taste, push through the smell, try out different things and be successful, be willing to try different things, you know? So we kind of have to keep creating this like, um, open place where we suggest things just like I suggest on my channel I suggest acupuncture I suggest yoga I suggest exercise um, spending time with family watching funny movies um, what are some of the other things that I do uh, writing reading uh, making a list of the foods that you can eat and jotting them down so that you don't forget making a list of um, meals that you want to prepare, meals that you want to try that you know are pleasant for you. Uh, someone commented on here, it might have been Renee Borchard, let me see. Someone said that, yes, it was Renee. She said that she also takes the time to garnish, to garnish her plate. And I gotta be honest, that is something that is remarkable because I don't do that. I have not done that. I flop, flop everything into my plate and mix everything together. There's almost like this feeling of not caring as much because it's like the same meal every single day. I don't take the time to garnish. And when she said that, I was like, huh. So lately I have been taking a little more time to make things prettier and nicer and so I think that just that tip alone really can go a long way for some of us because the experience of dinner time is not the same and so having a little garnish something to in the back of your mind get you right is is that was a really nice touch so thank you for that as well um she also says that she eats a very little processed food, which is really important. Last month, I had Sion's, uh, Sion Seox. She's um, commented on my YouTube channel. Uh, she said that she's been struggling with, you know, dinners and people understanding her. She said her brother was really the only one that understood how she felt and wasn't treating her like she was being strange or exaggerating. She says that she recently has been writing lists of safe foods and not safe foods and looking at them to help her come up with recipes. Ah, see, so Sion, uh, Sion Siox is definitely on the right path. That is something that um, I do and a lot of us do in the Facebook support group. So please take a look at my Perosmia playlist and just peruse some of those comments because I think they're really helpful 
to understanding what some of us are going through and some of the tips that we have for each other. I'm really grateful that some of you are even putting yourselves out there to share here on the channel and say your personal experience, your vulnerability, what you're, what's going on in your homes. You don't know me at all, but somehow you feel like you want to share this. It's making you feel comforted knowing that someone else is going through what you're going through and that we can communicate about this. And I really did not see this coming when I started sharing the Perosmia videos. I thought I'd get maybe some questions or maybe no comments at all. And I think I've gotten more comments about Perosmia than most of my other videos combined on art and all things tutorials. So I really, really do want to thank you guys for opening up with me about everything you are teaching me, you are helping me as well and supporting me, and I hope that I could be of support to you. I am rebranding. The rebrand comes with connecting the store, my Karma's Pieces store, to my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, and my Instagram. I have, they're all named Karma's Pieces, and I really wanted the fluidity of it. Originally, I had named my channel Karma Lately, and it was to explain like what's been going on lately in Karma's world and you know what I'm doing. But Karma's Pieces really epitomizes me as a person because everything that I do is a piece. Um, everything is a story. Everything in my life is linked to story, whether it's my art, my music, my, um, writing uh, anything that i do is linked to story even these youtube videos have a beginning middle and an end karma's pieces is who i am and that is my brand and so i want to make sure that i'm linking everything and making everything fluid so that whenever someone finds me they're like wait karma wait is karma lately karma's pieces or is karma's pieces i just want everybody to be able to find me i want to start promoting my store promoting my brand and getting myself out there more and so that really is the uh, reason why I decided to change the name. What else? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope that this video was helpful to everyone. I hope that you guys can take something away from this. I am going to be doing more videos that cater to not just my art community, but also my Perosmia community. And so something like a day in the life of I think seeing the things that I eat plus things that I'm doing physically at home uh, can help you kind of get an idea of what I think is a productive day for me, not just for my work, my career, and my sanity, but also for coping with parosmia. I'll be trying to do a day in the life of a lot more often. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please do not forget to subscribe to Karma's Pieces, like, comment below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.